Right, welcome to the Orchard Hills. I'm back in the Anglo-Saxon field. See the cross there? Which is now cemented very securely into that wall. Used to be on the other side of the road, I believe. But uh, this field is Anglo-Saxon. So they say. Haven't found anything. Earliest I've found is William III. But I'm giving it a very, very thorough search. <laughs> Me, who likes to zoom around here, there and everywhere, I find it quite boring, but it's got to be done, so I'm going to have fun. <laughs> going to dig up everything. i got the spit. <laughs> A compulsory iron ring, <laughs> except it's an oval. Oh, they bring me good luck, these things, <laughs> but I don't do iron. Hey, modern penny, right by my ring, look. <laughs> Well, it just shows that I did miss stuff before, so <sighs> you never know. Oh, that had me going. I thought it was a spindle ball. <laughs> it's just a, what, a, a cap, isn't it? A washer of some description. Yeah, right, I just had a small piece of lead and a ring. It shows there's still stuff in here. Two pence, modern, decimal. There's uh, stuff slipping between the cracks, but I need old stuff, please. Bronze ring, split. Uh, if anything, it's a bit bigger than your precious Paul, you know. <laughs> I too run mega donkey, <laughs> but it's not stick, look. So it's not a patch on yours, mate, but never mind, it's a goodie. <laughs> a bronze ring. Huge silver coin, look at that. Wowee. See, it's ten pence. <laughs> ten new pence. And guess what? It's full of chocolate. <laughs> uh, there, there's another metal detectorist of sorts in the village. So the farmer puts this in the land for him to find. <laughs> and I've got dozens of them. <laughs> Uh, no disrespect mate, but you don't seem to be that good. <laughs> oh, in fact there was only silver there. <laughs> now that was one funny, funny signal. It was given a 74.5, which is okay for these bronze. It's Victorian by the way, 1860, two, I think. But it, it was covered with these iron crustaceans. So it was giving me a 76, a choppy 76, but I thought I'll dig you anyway. <laughs> you know how you do. So there you go. At least I got a Victoria this time. Right, today I'm uh, digging signals I would have ignored in the past. I've just had a 94 clunky clunk clunk clunk, and we all know that's iron, don't we? Well, it's also an 1806. Uh, George the third penny down deep. <laughs> I can't see his head, but funny enough, look, I can see the date. Unbelievable. <laughs> Could be a seven, that 1807. That's two coins I've just taken out of here because I know they, they were on this land, but uh, I ignored the signals in the past. I thought they were iron. I'm going to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> Big one. A number, 61, <laughs> part of something. I, I remember getting the other half of this, whoa, last year sometime. Oh, I'll have to try and dig it out. Oh, it's a nice day today. I'm sat on a grassy slope. Uh, I've done this many times before actually. What I'm doing is I'm going around areas that I've done before which were productive and had a reason to have coins and I got two coins on the path. I've just got picked up a button here. Uh, stuff slips through the cracks when you're working and um, I would always say go back to somewhere twice if not three times. One up, one down and then diagonal. <laughs> Oh, it's nice. There's a couple of males down there, they can't decide who's the boss. 
that is the metal rim of a purse. One side of a purse. Little round bits there where it hinged. And that's where it clicked together. Ah. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> a button. Very nice button. Slip through the cracks. <laughs> Another button. You know, when I did this, I was in too much of a hurry, I think, to zoom through this and get over there where I thought stuff was. <laughs> well, it was there. <sighs> well, enjoyable couple of hours. Wind's getting up now, coming from the east. It's going to get cold. I just found a what looks like a screwing knob. <sighs> Old. So, I'm working my way back. Oops. Hello, welcome to the roundup. Had a good day today. <laughs> Didn't get any silver except this one. <laughs> but I just go out there to, to find what is out there. Um, never disappointed, always find something. Even junkyite, no idea what this is. Except it's a handle, right? But look at that bit off a purse. Ah, where's the rest? I found a purse once back in the 70s. Half a gold sovereign and about 16 pieces of silver. <laughs> oh, ah, all pure silver. Good one it was. Somebody had lost it on holiday. Oh dear. Look at these. When <laughs> they drive you mad. Bits of curled up copper wire like this. But every one of these gives a signal and oh, goes crazy. Now part of the number. If there's anything on the back. No. It's it, it curves up there so it was a tag with a hole in there where my finger is. You get expert at adding the bits that don't exist anymore. <laughs> Look at this, I was looking for Ahmed again <laughs> to pick up all sorts of tiny things that you know going down to China. And bits of bits of lead. <laughs> I can't laugh at this. I mean, farmer put them out for this uh, detectorist in the village, but so far he hasn't found one, and <laughs> I've just been shoveling them up. Been in there over twelve months. These ring, it split. It um, it was obviously soldered there at one time with bronzed and uh, the, the stress just <clears throat> cracks them apart you get that with gold rings sometimes you dig them up and you think hey great and then they, all of a sudden they go bang and they just split now well that obviously screws onto the front of something um, probably um, probably a drawer maybe a dresser Rings. Nothing fancy. These lightweight ones, they, they were actually used to separate the braces on <laughs> a pair of trousers. Two coming off the top and one down below. Now, I've had a few of these. And I, I, I thought, oh, you know, straight off. Hey, spindle wall. But isn't. And then I'm thinking, hey, these are off the end of wooden. A wooden a wooden ball goes in there, a hole through the ball. This sticks into the ball and there's one on the other end. I'm sure of it. And then I'm thinking, they still could be spindle walls. Uh, with one of these on either end for the weight. Either that or it's just on the, the end of a handle. Someone will know button was a design long since vanished into oblivion yes oh now this one's got a little pattern on if I can get it right just got to get the shadows right sometimes little cross a lot of little squares 
That's hollow as this button. If I push in there, it would just snap straight in. Uh, one of those with quality guaranteed on the back. Now oh, that's a big button. And it's in. Not bad condition actually, is it? Okay, let's get to coins. We're looking at here. A penny. And the date of, when I get it in the right place, 1989. A 2p, if I can look in the right place again, is um, 1979. Much older. A Vicky. Look at all the, the crud on this. You know, it, it couldn't make its mind up if it was iron or, or bronze. 1860. Your guess is as good as mine. Is that a 7 or a 2? I think it's 2. They, they were quite common. And the piece de resistance. You know... I got this and I could see the date, but I couldn't see anything else. Because it's fooling me, isn't it? It's George the Third. look, Penny, brilliant. And I'm thinking, where's the date? It has a date under the head, 1806. So I turn it over and immediately think, oh no, it's an Irish one. See the harp there, look, with the strings on the harp. And, I, and that says Hibernia. And it's not 1806, it's 1805. Look, when I, when I clean that last letter up, <laughs> the last number. So, an 1805 George III Irish penny. Uh, good one, you know, you, they're, they're not that common. But the Irish navvies, they used to come over um, to England to work. And uh, they did a lot of haymaking and they, they wanted paying in Irish money. So there's a lot of Irish money about it in the north of England, especially on the western, the western side. But there you go. You know, that imp was in pretty good nick when it was lost, look. It hadn't worn the wreath at all. See the three ones up there? One, one, one. That's George III. Thank you. So, Thank you. there you go. Happy hunting. You take care. Till I see you next time. Bye.